So I think people are in for a rude awakening, y'all, about what uh, is going to happen moving forward. Um, the second Trump term is going to be a lot more unhinged than the first. And the first was pretty fucking unhinged. But the reason why this one is going to be total balls to the wall, anything goes, is because of the Supreme Court ruling that said Trump has immunity if anything is considered within his official duties, right? You could make a stretch argument for anything being official duties. Um, so he has immunity, uh, and he's very clearly, purposefully, surrounding himself with nothing but loyalists. Any of the guardrails, any of the establishment voices who said, mm, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't go too far here or there, uh, that's all over with, man. Uh, there will be no Bill Barr at the DOJ to say, mm, I'm not gonna send out fraudulent letters saying the election was stolen. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna seize the voting machines. Let's not declare martial law. Let's not evoke the Insurrection Act. Let's not shoot protesters in the leg. Done, gone, over, over, over. It'll be people like Mike Flynn around him, Steve Bannon around. These are the people who will be around him. And everything Trump wants to do, every instinct, uh, every visceral idea, it's pff, fuck it, go ahead, go for it. They're gonna totally destroy the uh, regulatory state. There is no doubt about that. The Supreme Court, gone for a generation, seven to two conservative, if not worse. Um, but now, guys, this is literally the day after, the day after, they're letting it all hang out. So you were told, and I was told, and I heard even from some people who were on the Democratic side, the liberal side, the leftist side, bro, Trump's not gonna do Project 2025, bro. Trump has distanced himself from it. What are you talking about, bro? Like, he's got nothing to do with that. Forget the fact that the Heritage Foundation led that, and he had a lot of Heritage Foundation people in his administration the first time, and he spoke at the Heritage Foundation and said, you guys are going to lay the ideological framework for our next time in office. Forget all the connections. Forget the fact these people already worked on policy for him, and they're laying out the next policy. Forget that. He distanced himself. He's not going to do it, bro. Listen to this. Matt Walsh. Welcome back. Matt, Matt Walsh, I think, is a very smart and a funny guy. Just put up on uh, Twitter. <laughs> Now that the election is over, I think we can finally say that, yeah, actually, Project 2025 is the agenda. <laughs> that's, that's from Matt Walsh. Fabulous. There's the admission. Project 2025 is the agenda. That's what this party believes, guys. I think, I think a lot of people voted for Trump because he's a revolutionary conservative, and they like the revolutionary part, they don't know about the conservative part. Well, you're about to find out that being a revolutionary conservative is worse than being a status quo defender. And I'm no fan of status quo defenders, right? The establishment is better than revolutionary conservatism. So uh, what are we talking about here? Well, look, it's no secret, it's not hidden. We already know 48 Republicans voted against the Right to IVF Act we already know they're against no-fault divorce. We already know that 36 Republican senators voted against gay marriage in the House and 169 voted against it. Or excuse me, 36 Republican senators voted against gay marriage in the Senate and 169 in the House. We already know 44 Republicans voted against extending the child tax credit. Um, but what's in Project 2025? Guys, <coughs> we've covered it. Um, their agenda is to ban porn, cut overtime pay, roll back child labor laws, do the unitary executive theory, which means no checks and balances, all the powers with the president, destroy the regulatory agencies. Uh, they've already tried, uh, in certain red states, they've tried to ban schools from doing free school breakfast and lunch for kids, ban minimum wage increases in certain cities, ban extreme heat, work breaks. Um, this is what they're going to do, right? This is what they're going to do. Matt Walsh admitted it. Steve Bannon admitted it. And I got bad news for you. They're going to have a lot of influence. They're going to have a lot of power. So I think... Americans uh, gambled on revolutionary conservatism here, but what they're about to find is they might like the revolution part. They don't like the conservatism part. When their wages go down and their health care gets taken away and there's no more overtime pay and they start uh, intervening in your private life and they ban the abortion pill. And uh, I mean, as I said, it's going to get real ugly real quick.